Yo, I've been having a blast on Instagram with the new Ask Me a Question feature. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram. But this video is a question I have in response to some of the questions I've been getting. Indy Jones, back with a trendy flow. I'm still trying to find my voice in this here scenario. Here we go. So one of the questions I've been getting a lot, and I've talked about on this channel, is where do I think music is going? Where do I think the future of music is going? And I've said this in a couple of videos. I did a video on what can we learn from Takashi 69 I've been doing these little videos to kind of give you guys glimpses of different ways that artists are getting on nowadays. And one of the things I've been talking about is clout, buzz, hype, whatever you want to call it, that coming first, before the music, before they're even recognized for music or artistic contribution and then the music coming second and so you have a generation of artists who are going viral essentially you have the Takashi, you have cardi b's who was also instagram personalities you have the boom gangs they're going viral first and then they start to release music and start to release content doing shows and that kind of stuff they leverage that into a record deal or management deal uh the most hilarious one to me is the yodeling kid the yodeling kid got a deal with atlantic catch me outside girl i think she goes by a bad bad baby or bad barbie now she got a deal with atlantic and that's kind of the, the the wave i think we're gonna see more and more of is we're gonna see more personalities influencers viral sensations that develop a platform that go super big and super wide and then start doing music for someone like myself, like I'm not, I'm not gonna be the guy that's trying to go viral on Instagram. I'm not. That's not. That's not my personality. That's not my brand. That's not what I'm about, right? Especially in the ways that many people go viral, it's a lot of negativity. It's a lot of just kind of ratchetness and debauchery and just craziness. And so, my question to you guys is, how do you think artists such as myself, positive artists, faith-based artists? artists that are trying to add value how do you think we grow our audiences and grow our platforms in a world that's clout first that's buzz and hype first and music and value second that's my question to you guys i know the gary v model which is what i follow dropping consistent content consistent quality content and over time developing an audience and that's what I've been doing that's what I do on this YouTube channel obviously on Instagram all these different things and I think that's a great model I think the reality is most artists myself included is that we don't understand that that's the long-term play that's the five-year goal that's the 10-year goal of developing stuff like that and and, and you can get discouraged because you're seeing artists that are overnight popping off and their viral sensation and so it's tough to try to compete with that. And I don't think I'm supposed to compete with that. So my question to you guys, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section. It's kind of a bit of a different video. Is how do you think artists who are more positive, more faith-based, more aware, woke, whatever you want to call it, how do you think we should be building our audiences? How do you think we could better engage with you, better create content that adds value to you? How do we empower you guys to then share the content? So leave that in the comment section. Make sure to like, share this video with anybody that you think needs it. And sign up for that Patreon. We're about to announce a new artist. If you want to know who he is now, go sign up for the Patreon right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Peace. Trying to find a pocket, trying to find a pocket. God, I know we got it. They can never stop it. Trying to be authentic, man, I do not get it.